Today I'll be comparing three microphones, uh, two of them are Rode and one of them is a Boya which is a cheaper, more um, budget oriented microphone. Um, so um, the way this video is going to go is that I'll be basically chit chatting into each of these microphones uh, for a while and then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to uh, read out some text into uh, each one of these microphones and we are going to be cross comparing them. There is a way to set these microphones up um, to get the most out of them but um, I don't want to do that so I want to compare them the way they are at first and then we're gonna add some filters here and enable uh, some of them to kind of tweak uh, each of the microphone a little bit uh, to get maybe a better uh, sound so there is this guy here uh, this guy's video he explains how to um, basically get the most out of your microphone it's an excellent video if you have OBS I would uh, highly recommend you to watch it um, it's actually uh, quite nice I learned a lot from this so the microphones that I have are Rode Video Micro uh, in this exact configuration with this exact uh, dead cat on it uh, the next one is Rode Smart Love Plus. I'm also using it with a dead cat. Um, Rode sells um, a dead cat specifically for this microphone, and th that is what I am using. And uh, finally, I am using uh, this one, uh, Boya. So, Boya uh, BYM1 microphone. Uh, this is a cheaper, more budget alternative. I have a dead cat on this uh, too. And uh, as you probably noticed, um, Boya is louder than the two other microphones at the same uh, setting. And um, the trick here is um, if I lower this to plus 10 decibels, it is uh, quieter than Rhodes. If I increase it, it's um, louder than the other two. I can equalize it to, um, for example, lower it to plus 10 and then uh, use a gain here in OBS however uh, what I noticed is that um, this gain is not as good of a quality so I got lots of distortions with it so what I'm just gonna do is I'll just leave Boya at uh, plus 20 decibels and uh, let's run with it um, you'll uh, you'll still be able to cross compare and I'll give you my opinions at the end of the video on uh, which one I uh, prefer so um, yeah I think um, oh by the way so uh, between this microphones uh, you would think video micro would be the most expensive one but it is actually uh, Rode Smart Love Plus so Rode video micro costs 39 euros at uh, thoman.d and uh, smart love plus costs um, 58 euros um, plus 15 euro delivery for both of them so yeah this microphone is uh, the most expensive uh, out of uh, all of the three I wonder how much does Boya cost um, I don't think Thoman sells them so let me see Boya on Amazon they don't sell them anymore unfortunately let me try uh, Amazon UK and uh, maybe it's gonna show up on that page so yeah Boya here costs 15 pounds which is I don't know um, 20 euro somewhere around that so considerably um, cheaper than the Rode uh, microphones so anyway now um, I found an article this one and I'm gonna read it first um, with all settings on the defaults and then I'm gonna tweak this uh, I'm gonna add noise suppression um, and I'm gonna add uh, the three band equalizer so I tweaked uh, this for each of them so I have um, so this is for the big microphone which is the Rode Video Micro this is for the uh, Smart Love Plus 
and this is for Boya. So um, this is purely my preferences um, and nothing more. So um, different people may prefer uh, different uh, configurations for their mics. So anyway, without further ado, do let me read out this article. There is something to be said for wanting to stand out from the crowd, but we can't pretend everyone wants to be different, especially when it comes to something as expensive as a car. Most people just want something that works, doesn't break, keeps them safe, and is generally comfortable on their way from point A to point B. And that's okay. There is something to be said for wanting to stand out from the crowd, but we can't pretend everyone wants to be different, especially when it comes to something as expensive as a car. Most people just want something that works, doesn't break, keeps them safe, and is generally comfortable on the way from point A to point B. And that's okay. There is something to be said for wanting to stand out from the crowd, but we can't pretend everyone wants to be different, especially when it comes to something as expensive as a car. Most people just want something that works, doesn't break, keeps them safe, and is generally comfortable on their way from point A to point B. And that's okay. There is something to be said for wanting to stand out from the crowd, but we can't pretend everyone wants to be different, especially when it comes to something as expensive as a car. Most people just want something that works, doesn't break, keeps them safe, and is generally comfortable on the way from point A to point B. And that's okay. There is something to be said for wanting to stand out from the crowd, but we can't pretend everyone wants to be different, especially when it comes to something as expensive as a car. Most people just want something that works, doesn't break, keeps them safe, and is generally comfortable on their way from point A to point B. And that's okay. There is something to be said for wanting to stand out from the crowd, but we can't pretend everyone wants to be different, especially when it comes to something as expensive as a car. Most people just want something that works, doesn't break, keeps them safe, and is generally comfortable on their way from point A to point B. And that's okay. There is something to be said for wanting to stand out from the crowd, but we can't pretend everyone wants to be different, especially when it comes to something as expensive as a car. Most people just want something that works, doesn't break, keeps them safe, and is generally comfortable on their way from point A to point B. And that's okay. There is something to be said for wanting to stand out from the crowd, but we can't pretend everyone wants to be different, especially when it comes to something as expensive as a car. Most people just want something that works, doesn't break, keeps them safe, and is generally comfortable on their way from point A to point B. And that's okay. So what do you all think? Um, for this last part of the video, I'm just gonna keep all of the mics in their um, configurations that I like them personally. Uh, so I'm gonna add the noise suppression, which I think is really, really nice. Um, it actually works very well. And I'm gonna uh, enable the three band equalizer. So let's start with uh, video micro, uh, go or no just video micro is called so my own personal conclusions on this mic i think it's a very it's a very nice mic um i like it but i think it sounds a little bit too um should i say muffled a little bit too thick sounding in my opinion a bit too muffled just uh it's um it's got a bit kind of too much emphasis on the lows and not the highs so as you can see my tweaking of the equalizer here reflects that i dropped lows by minus two and i uh dropped mids a little bit as well by just uh, one decibel and uh I just turned off, by the way, the three band equalizer, so you can hear the difference, and I've uh, added highs to it. So I think this microphone lacks a little bit of the sharpness, so I added two decibels um, in highs to it. And uh, then I think it sounds uh, better, at least uh, to me. Rode Smart Love Plus, um, to me personally, sounds the cleanest. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention that I am talking right into these microphones. I am um, very, very up close to them. I'm almost touching uh, the dead cat with my mouth. So that's why I, uh, that's how close I am to them. So um, Rode uh, Smart Love Plus to me sounded uh, the cleanest in my opinion. Um, I kind of prefer this microphone to be honest. 
uh, to the other two um, the only thing is it's clean but it is a little bit uh, small sounding that I noticed uh, so what I've done is I dropped highs a little bit by uh, 0.5 um, decibels I've added some mids and the lows I kind of left as they are because I don't want them to be too much and too overbearing so in this configuration in my opinion um, it's fine it was I think uh, without the equalizer it sounds a little bit uh, too sharp uh, for me and uh, when you add a little bit of uh, emphasis on the mids and drop the highs a little bit it starts sounding um, pretty good um, so I like this microphone Finally, Boya microphone. So this microphone is the cheapest of them all, but I think it uh, competes with them quite well. The only thing with Boya that I noticed is that it picks up, um, you know, the pop noises. Uh, this, um, the Dead Cat for Boya, it actually does not work as well as um, the uh, Rode Smart Loves uh, one does. I, I think maybe. Uh, smart love has some uh, extra stuff in it that um, avoids uh, picking up the extra noises plus uh, by um, at the same setting it's uh, louder than the other two so i can drop it to the plus 10 decibels and then i think it is um, quieter however um, if you listen to this in your headphones which i recommend you to do in my opinion the both roads the um, smart love plus and video micro and especially smart love plus when it comes to um, pure sound quality I think um, they are cleaner sounding uh, microphones than uh, Boya so this is cheaper but um, the other two in my opinion are uh, better at least um, if I had a choice of only one microphone, uh, I would not choose uh, Boya. Although I forgot to mention that in my opinion, Boya microphone uh, needs the least amount of equalization uh, fixing where um, I think it's uh, quite well equalized and I would actually be happy to use it without any equalization at all however when equalized I drop the uh, lows a little bit and I up the highs by only one decibel and uh, I think it makes it sound just slightly better so that leaves me deciding between the two Rode microphones and uh, between uh, the uh, video micro and smart love plus well video micro um, I already mentioned this but um, it sounds a bit uh, like a gooey a bit thick sounding even after the equalization so I don't know maybe that's uh, how the um, like a proper bigger sized microphone should sound but I think I prefer Smart Love Plus um, because uh, it may not be as thick and as um, gooey sounding as a Rode Video Micro, which may uh, translate into more professional sounding uh, microphone. I don't know, but uh, to me, Smart Love Plus sounds cleaner and clearer so uh, the bass it has enough bass the only thing I noticed when comparing them is that it picks up a little bit more uh, wind noise which means I'll probably have to um, basically step back a little bit maybe by um, I don't know five centimeters back and talk that way and it's not gonna pick up um, the uh, you know puffs of air after that but overall um, I think I'm going to stick to Smart Love Plus, but uh, I'm actually very interested in your opinion because you are the listener of this. So please tell me which one did you prefer?